What's going on friends, welcome back to the channel. My name's Evan and today we're styling one of my winter essentials, coats. I put together four different outfits with these four coats on the side, each with their own unique style, so there's definitely something for everyone. With that said, let's jump right into the first outfit. The first outfit features an achromatic look styling and overcoat. On top, I have this light gray overcoat from Zara, which I picked up secondhand off of my friend a couple of seasons back, but there are definitely good alternatives that are currently available in stores. Underneath, I have this chunky cream turtleneck from Uniqlo, which honestly isn't that thick even though it's chunky, but I still like the look of it. On the bottom, I have these basic pair of black trousers also from Uniqlo, which pretty much goes well with everything. I finished off the look with a pair of black boots which I picked up from the thrift store, which has a really high shaft so it pairs really nicely with these crop trousers. This has to be my favorite look out of the four because of how simple yet sophisticated it is. This is pretty much my go-to template for this winter with a pair of black boots, black trousers, and then on top I have a sweater and like an outer layer. The next outfit is the most dressed up, featuring a trench coat. On top, I have this suede trench coat which I picked up from the thrift store. It's incredibly loose and flows really nicely, so I paired it with a white Uniqlo blouse, which is also really loose. I know most people don't like diving into women's wear, so in that case, a basic white button-up or oxford works perfectly fine. Moving down, we have this H&M gray pattern pants, as well as a college spring brown tassel loafer to finish off the dressed up look. I definitely don't recommend wearing an outfit like this for a day where you're going to be walking a lot. I don't know if it's just me, but honestly, like every time I wear loafers, the loafers always end up killing my feet no matter what. Moving on to the third outfit, this is definitely the most iconic featuring a fur coat. On top, I have this fur coat which I picked up from Uniqlo, which gives me major SLP vibes. So for this outfit, I decided to go for an SLP aesthetic. Underneath, I have this button-up shirt which I'm wearing currently from an H&M collab, and it just has some really nice detailing. The sleeves build out at the wrist, which kind of reminds me of like those old outfits that people used to wear in Europe, which is kind of like royal or like grand, which kind of just adds on to like the fancy SLP aesthetic. On the bottom, I have these pair of black wax denim jeans from Zara, which kind of just gives like a faux leather effect. And lastly, the piece that kind of nails the SLP aesthetic, I have the From the First Enzo boots, which are highly reminiscent of the SLP white harness boots. is the most casual featuring a down coat. On top I have this black down coat which I picked up from the thrift store recently. I've had this coat for about a month and I pretty much found myself gravitating towards this coat anytime I go out because it's so casual and easy to style and it also gives me like major international student vibes so that's kind of the look that I was going for with this outfit. Underneath I have this navy v-neck sweater from Top Man which is kind of like preppy so it kind of goes along with the preppy international student vibes. And now on the bottom, I have the basic pair of black trousers from Uniqlo from the first outfit. Like I said, it just pretty much goes with anything. I think this kind of just adds on to a preppy look that I was building off of with the sweater. I finished off the look with a basic pair of white sneakers from Oliver Cabell, which you can't really go wrong with. It's kind of like the black trousers. It just pretty much matches with everything. Alright, so that wraps it up for my four look styling coats. Let me know down in the comments which outfit was your favorite. And if you made it this far, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to stay updated, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.